season. Every time there's a place, every place there's a season. Mm -hmm. Time does not dictate seasons. Mm -hmm. Seasons dictate time. Right. Y'all missed that. Right, right. Seasons dictate time. God tells time what to do through seasons. Uh -huh. Environment doesn't tell atmosphere. Atmosphere tells environment. Y'all missed that. Mm -hmm. Because elevation is not about what you know. Elevation is all about who you know. All right. Because God has the ability to shift everything in your life and not do nothing but sin. Right. Because he has the ability, he's giving you the power to call those things that be not as though they were. The problem is, when are you going to open your mouth? Mm -hmm. All right, let me help you with that. Seasonal deals with the ability for God to release you beyond what time says. Time expires, seasons live on forever. Mm -hmm. Time expires, seasons live on forever. Let me unpack this one thing, we're going to go out. I promise you. Ah. When we look at the idea of elevation, you cannot let your, your time erode your season. You have to let your season catapult you into your elevation. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what does that mean? That means when you get to your place of growth, don't let the pain stop you from growing. Mm -hmm. Let the pain push you into growth. Right. 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 Because growing pains are exactly that. They are Growing pains. Mm -hmm. The problem is, do we quit? And how am I just say this? Y'all, there is not enough medication you can take to stop the spiritual pain. Mm. There is. Mm. That's right. There's not enough alcohol you can drink that will stop the spiritual pain. Right. There is not enough weed you can smoke that will stop. I'm talking a mm -hmm. spiritual pain. I said it. Uh -huh. What you gonna do? I said it. We have to you call a spade a spade. Right. We have to get to a point where we can admit that this pain hurts. And it's okay to say it hurts. Uh -huh. right. Y'all quiet. Right. It's okay to say it. It's okay yeah. to say it hurts. Yeah. It's okay. And you know what, y'all? Healing has a lot to do with your ability to admit that it hurts. Right. 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 Your best release will come when you can say that it hurts. And then when you crawl up to God, y'all listen. Stop walking up to God like he can't fix it. I, you know, every now and then you ought to crawl just like a child. Get in his hands and let him hold you in the locks of his arms until your healing manifests itself. Right, right. Because healing requires that you sit down somewhere and let it happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all quiet. Mm -hmm. and, and healing isn't always just spiritual. Sometimes emotional healing takes time. Y'all quiet. Right. Mm -hmm. It takes, it takes time to go through the process, and healing is a process. Elevation is a process. Growing in God is a, you know, some things going to happen quick. Come, get hands laid on you, some things going to manifest itself quick. There's some things, it might take 10 years for it to show up. Right, right. It might take 10 years. Then some things might take 10 days, some things 10 hours, but it still is a process. process. You look here, this man was broken. What's broken? Hmm. Who was assigned to help you that broke you and it wasn't their fault? If they didn't mean to. Mm -hmm. But now let me help you with this. We get mad with God when we get in a situation that's not what we want. All right. But it is his will. Mm -hmm. And God's will trumps our wants every time you get to the table. Amen. Every time. I just want to let you know, in case you thought you had a good game, you don't have that on this one. When you show up to the table, his will will trump your want every time. Now, here is the conversation. When will you start submitting to his will? Because God won't force his will on you, but he will allow situations that will cause you to come back to him. And the horrible part, he won't change what his will is. Mm. All right. Because his will is his will. His will doesn't change because your situations change. His will increases because God demands more when he gives you more. Right, right, right. He demands more. You can't ask God for a greater anointing and don't want to go through a greater test. Amen. I'm just saying, that's just, mm -hmm. just my little old teaching. Healing, growth, elevation is not just individualized. Amen. You want to gain strength? Help somebody else grow. You want to have happiness? Celebrate somebody else's happiness and then watch when yours come, folk will come up. Because it is a travesty to have a party, invite folk, and then they don't come because you didn't celebrate them. Mm. <laughs> the law of reciprocity is real. What a man sow, also shall he reap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, if you don't sow nothing, mm -hmm. don't go expecting anything to come back. Mm -hmm. We believe in the process of one. One has to have the individual ability to grow past what they see. Your situation, this man got back to the, to the palace. David saw him, he said, oh, is there anyone that I can bless? He got to the town, he got to the kingdom, 
And he fell on his knees and he began to grovel like a dog. Master, and then he had to rebuke. Don't act like a dog. He equated himself to a dog. Can I help you with something? Don't let your situation push you to a place where you don't believe God is still able. Mm. Y'all miss that. Mm. Because depression will drive you to a place where you wonder if God is going to do it. Oppression, isolation will drive you to a place if you wonder. You're, you know, I'm going to say this. I, I know I'm crazy. Because mm. I hear God speak and can't tell you half of what he said, but I know what he means. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I have, I have dreams that become visions and visions that become reality and can't tell you how I got from one step to the other except God. Mm -hmm. I yeah, run and don't yeah. see nobody change. I'm just saying, I know yeah. I'm crazy. Y'all yeah. don't have, I, I know, I'm speaking for me. Y'all mm -hmm. might not have those issues. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I go to sleep and then I see God's hands moving very clearly. Mm -hmm. I, me. Mm -hmm. For you, you might get in the car and see him talk. I, I, I mean, but for me. So I know I'm off. I'm very comfortable in my office. I am bipolar and schizophrenic all at the same time. <laughs> On the other side of that, I know that my long teeth is real. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it takes crazy to deal with crazy, and the devil is crazy. Mm -hmm. And I have to have enough sense to know how crazy he is, so when I go off, I know when I'm going off home. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I attack your spirit, it ain't the person I'm after, it's the spirit that's within the person I'm trying to get to, it ain't nobody talking. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you got to get with, you got to get with demons and people at the same time. Ooh, did I say that out loud? I did. Get with them. Got to get with them. Your elevation is situational, is social, and is seasonal. Here is what I want us to do this week. Over the course of this week, here, here is your homework. Good teacher I am, wouldn't be right if I can give you homework. Don't laugh at me, you know I'm sensitive. Um, your, your homework. This whole month, we're focused on elevation. I, I wanted to teach this morning because I wanted to be sure we laid a very strong foundation, and I've done that. Next couple of weeks, we're going to be preaching solid because I want to be sure we shift some things. The next week, this week, I want you to spend some time in the morning. I need you to fast. I need you to be strategic about being up at 6 in the morning. I've been fighting with this for the last week, and I'm very clear about my assignment. I need you to be up at 6 in the morning, and I need you to go find you a private place, and I need you to go pray to God. And I need you to fast from 6 a until noon. 6, 8 until noon. And all I want you to pray and fast for is for God's will to manifest itself. I don't want you to pray for a new job, a new car, a new anointing. I want you to pray that God's will will manifest itself in a way that only you can recognize. That's all I want you to do over the course of this week, between now and next Sunday. Get up at 6. Force yourself, y'all. Get up at 6 and spend some time in prayer. And then I want you to fast from 6 until 12. And all I want you, the only petition you got is that God's will will be manifested. That's all. Isn't that simple? That's simple. Now, what I'm looking for is when God's will is manifested and you get it, I need you to let me know. That's, I need you to let me, you don't have to tell me what it is. I just need you to, I, and then the text message can be as simple as I got it. I, but from 6 until 12, I need you to fast. And all I want you to do is ask God's will. Ask God to release his will in a way that you can understand it. That's all. Because your elevation. I'm not interested in social platforms. I'm not interested in you having more friends. Because some of us got friends we don't want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got friends that was, and you know, we, we got friends and we got social platforms we don't want. You know, I got a few associates that I've been trying to figure out how to get them off before. I just need to figure it out, Brother Brandon. I've been working on it. Okay? We got some folk who've come in our lives that they were there for a time and their season is up. It's time to let them go. All I'm asking you to do for the next seven days is to pray and ask God's will to manifest itself in your life in a way that you can recognize it. You see how simple that is? And then next week, when we get back here, we're going to deal with the elevation of your sensitivity to God's will. That's what we're working on. It's your elevation to your sensitivity to God's will. Next week, that's what we're going to be. I want to destroy your nerves and elevate your thinking, force your metacognition and your ability to... How many of you recognize God's will when you see it? Not when you feel it. When you see it. Uh-huh. When you see it. We want to teach you next week how to see it. And then, when you get in God's will and you get the elevation, how to keep it. Because a lot of times we invest in things that we don't know how to keep. 
you know, relationships, time. So we want to invest time in ourselves. Yes, that's a good concept. We want to invest in ourselves the things that we need, and I want to show you how to get to God, and when you get it, how to met, how when it manifests itself, how to germinate it so it'll grow beyond your wildest dreams. Your elevation isn't all about you. It is about you being elevated, but your ability to reach back and have other folk come above. That's what we're after this week. Next week, all this week, what, what, what is our assignment this week? We're going to fast. We're going to wake up at what time? Six. six. And we're going to pray. And I didn't tell you how long to pray. I just want you to pray. But at six o'clock, I need you all to be up praying. Six. And we're going to fast from 6 a until 12 noon. And what does fasting look like? If you have pills to take, then I need you to take your pills, eat, and then figure out another fasting. It could be that you turn off social media. It could be that you're not answering the phone. It could be that, that you're not talking about anything but what's attached to you. Find a, if you have to if you have meds, take your meds, eat, but find another format of fasting. I need you to fast for the next seven days from 6 a to 12 noon. And all I want you to ask God is that his will is manifested in a way that what? That only you can recognize. And then when you get it, I need you to holler at me. You can, you can, you can catch me on uh, Twitter at FTCC Houston. You can catch me on Facebook. Um, what are we, Freedom Temple Church on Facebook. Use it under my name. Text me, email, do something. But when you get it, I need you to reach out to me and let me know because then we're going to have another conversation. Because we're going to then elevate ourselves to hearing God's will. And then we're going to talk about the elevation of how to live in it. Because a lot of times we hear about, go get in God's will. Well, where is that located? Do you have a map? Um, and then, and how far am I from it? Or am I close to it and don't know it? Yeah, it's God's will. He's saying we're going to be close to it. That's what we're working on for the next seven days. We're fasting from 6 a to 12. We're praying at 6. We're seeking God's will. And we want you to holler back at us when you get it. Okay, that's all I'm looking for. We're going to grow this thing based off of elevation. And I'm only worried about elevation in this first step in your spirit. Because if we get your spirit.